Welcome everyone to Thursday Core. My name is Alex. It's an honor to be here with all of you. We're going to start lying down on the ground. Soles of the feet to the floor are getting nice and grounded through the lower spine. Let's begin by just gently, slowly rocking one leg down at a time. And starting to find that long, deep breath through the body as we inhale through the nose. And exhale. All right, we can exhale through the mouth. We can exhale behind closed lips. All right, we're just warming up. Starting to find that balance in the body. Good, starting to move around left and right. Look in the opposite direction. The knees are going for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. Rolling on to left side. Come into a fetal position. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Left hand comes on top of right knee. And what we're going to do is reach over to now our left side. So we're on our left side, reaching with our right arm. And then reaching over and across. And coming back. Reach all the way over with the right hand. And then reaching all the way cross body through the twist. Remembering it's all about quality, not quantity. We're warming up our bodies, just feeling as we stretch all the way through this beautiful twist and remembering to breathe. Deep breath in, deeper breath out. Good, 10. Nine, eight, relax your head, relax your shoulders, relax all the way down into the hips as you twist. Five, four. Three, two, and we're going to stop all the way over onto the right side and just stay there in the twist. So knees to the left, look to the right and breathe. Breathing here, feeling here as we warm up the body, not just through the movement, increasing circulation through movement but also through respiration, through breathing. So again, movement and breath increase circulation. Circulation is the medicine. Right? Movement is medicine for the body. Stillness is medicine for the mind. It's all being supported through awareness. It's all being guided by the breath through the body, in the mind. Drawing these three energies, these three varieties together, bringing them whole, bringing them home. And that's what we call the self. Beautiful guys from here, rolling back over, feel on your left side, extend your right leg out. And again, using your elbow as a little lever, push that armpit down and lift that back leg. So again, I have the couch in the way, that's cool. I could go all the way down and up, doesn't make a difference. Drop your chest and just lift that leg. Breathing here, feeling here. The higher you go, the harder it is. The more back it goes, the more your chest is down, the harder it is. Again, feel that side body. Again, I'm staying very up high because of the couch, no big deal. Could go all the way down, doesn't matter. Working that area in the hips, in the rib cage, that side lateral chain, 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up and hold, feel for 10, nine, you got this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, guys. Draw that knee in, kick it out. Draw that knee in, kick it out. Draw that knee in, notice the connection. Kick it out, heart forward, heart back, heart forward, heart back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful guys, let's roll now over onto the right side. Coming onto the right side, fetal position. Use your right hand on top of your left knee. Reach all the way over with the left hand to the right side and then start to draw that hand across body and then bringing it back, stretching through and across, getting a nice massage through the shoulders, through the hips. Right. Feel it nose to toes. Feel it from the crown of the head all the way to the tailbone. Make sure your head is very active, stretching your neck, seeing if you can get it all the way from the heart to the head, not just down in the hips. Stretching across feeling, and then starting to deepen that breath. 10. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two. And wonderful. Be here. Breathe here. Hold that twist. Find that depth in the breath. Nice, long, and peaceful. Feel that connection from the hip to the shoulder, from the toes to your nose, and all the way through your fingertips. And we're stretching in 360 degrees. We're stretching within, but we're also stretching through expanding around us. Feeling that spaciousness within and all around ourselves. Beautiful. From here, rolling back onto that right side. Kick that left leg up now. And again, start to pulse up and down, up and down. You'll want to use your elbow armpit connection, that's level two. That feels better, more like reclined Buddha. And then up and down with the leg, up and down with the leg. Feel 10, nine, doing great guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up and hold. There you go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, bring your knee in towards your chest, kick it out. Heart back, heart forward. Heart back, heart forward. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one beautiful guys rolling back onto our backs bring our knees into our chest give ourselves a nice squeeze and just pulse those knees in towards your chest notice arms straight arms bent just pulsing the knees in towards the chest nice and easy let it flow let it go and as we do this we can even tuck the chin 
and try a few rounds with chin tucked. Just having head off the floor and remembering if any of this is uncomfortable, right? Using a pillow. So I'm just gonna show you by grabbing one, right? At any moment and just relaxing and doing all these movements with your head supported. Remember, this class is for everybody. It is not chronological. There is no age that one can assign that says, you know, you are not tall enough to ride this ride or you are not big enough or strong enough or you're too old or too young. No, you're never too old or too young to begin your practice. Right? And that's why it's for everybody because everybody can fit into the postures. We just need to learn how to modify so that it feels comfortable and that it feels relaxed. So when our body is comfortable, our mind is relaxed. And so right now, just getting into a good way, relaxing here. And again, using that pillow, using those supports when necessary. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Good, now from here, let's release the hands and let's continue this movement, tuck, point. So curl toes, point, and we call these toe taps. Again, you can pretend like you're lying on a beach if you wish. Just stacking one palm on top of the other, scaffolding so your head has a little bit more support. Or again, just be flat on the ground, just like you were before with your twist. And all we're doing is toe point, toe curl, toe point, toe curl, toe point, curl, point, curl, tap, breathing. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. the feet to come to the floor, relax them here. Start to bring the tailbone up and down. We call these tailbone tilts. Moving it down, moving it up, just demonstrating with the hand, just showing you through a very symbolic way what the tailbone is doing. It's dropping down, it's lifting up, it's dropping down, lifting up, working it through, working it through. And you'll notice that working it through really helps with our lifts. As we learn to lift, right, it really starts at the base of the spine. And so there is no straight back or there's no missing, you know, certain vertebrae that create a problem, right? Want to work through it all, right? Vertebra by vertebra, step by step, just like the saying goes, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. It's no different than our Kundalini energy. Right, as it rises up each and every vertebrae. Feel, feel, feel it. 10, nine, really flattening out that lumbar spine, extending it, eight, seven, forward fold, backward bend, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, now from here, what we're gonna do is make sure you're nice and supported on the ground, lift your body, you'll notice a little tiny Movements. We're going to do something new. So I'm going to sing the new move song because it's going to be a little different. So new moves, new moves, right? We're pulsing up, 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 and we're going up high, right? As high as we can go. Feel, 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 but we're going slowly and breathe. So it's almost like shaking it up at the same time, just letting it flow, letting it go, relax your head. Right? It's not about getting to the maximum, so working our way there. And little bit by little bit, you'll start to feel almost like a pushback or a strong sensation. That's what you want to shake out, right? Use your hips, shake it out. Feel, feel, feel. Good, guys. Lifting up higher. Remember, it's not about going to the top right now. It's just about finding a comfortable place. You can bounce your hips up and down in your reclined, right? 
or just bridge bows, right? There's no support here. Just lifting up the support is ourselves. So again, this is just a modified version of bridge. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now lift up nice and high. Don't do anything. Just lift up nice and high. Bring those hands towards those ankles. Feel free if you want to clasp your hands, seat belt the grip, come up even higher, feel free. I just like to grab hold of my shins in my new training seat. If I can just lift with the hips, no need for a stronger frame. Good, breathing here, feeling here, you got this. One minute. That's 10. Remember, always encourage deep, long, peaceful breathing. Nine. Work that strong sensation all the way through the body. It's eight. Seven. Six. It's hard endure with gratitude and if you can't just come out do a few tailbone tilts and come back in three two last one deep breath in draw the breath in hold the breath bring your arms up over your head holding for ten nine eight relax your head seven six five push up a little higher four Three, best part, two, lower down, and bring those knees in towards your chest. And pulse again, and feel. Again, incredible what we can feel, incredible what we can experience through these postures. As we put the pressure on, we transform. Maybe that strong sensation that appears like coal, I mean, we transform it into a diamond. Right, strong and clear. And that, of course, comes from our intention. Of course, our first intention is showing up to class. Right, that's the sort of non-directed intention. It's the one that you've already done by being here. We've talked about it before, 90% is showing up. Whether that's online or in the studio, it's carving out that time for yourself. Each of you spend every day, right, in some way practicing yoga. But today is the explicit practice, right? With your teacher. And today as the teacher, it's my job to work with the teachings. And so we become all connected through this endless cycle of practice and practitioner, right? As teacher and student. And it's wonderful because a true teacher is a master student, right? can only teach if you're practicing, right? Because it's all coming from the teachings. So remember, your job is not to be like me. Your job is to follow the same things that I'm following, which again is to make you into a teacher. It's to make you into a guru. Because a true leader doesn't make followers. They make other leaders. Same with a guru, right? Same with the yoga, right? It's to make other yogis. Fantastic, guys, from here, kick your legs up in the air and then curl toes point. Now, I'm a little out of the frame. That's okay, so I'm just going to show you with bent and then I'm going to shoot my legs all the way up. Good. So try and get those legs straight, point toes, curl toes. And again, lie on a beach if you feel any discomfort in the neck. Open up. And all we're doing is pointing toes, curling toes, pointing toes, curling toes, point, curl. Try and get those legs straight or as straight as you can. Good. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Feel it all the way from your hips to your lower back. Again, six. Five.
four, three, two, and one. Perfect, guys. Slowly, slowly bicycle those legs. Take all the time you need and let that energy dissipate through the bicycling. Right, you can bring your head off the ground if you wish. Tuck it up a little bit. Right, and just feel good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful lying down back on our backs one last time. Good, let's reach on through. Remember, work hard, rest harder. You guys have been doing great. Reach for those ankles through the inside of the thighs. Lie back down on the ground, relax your head. This is known as stirrup, right? Just let those legs be like in cobbler pose where you find that beautiful diamond shape. And then slowly, slowly start to rock your head side to side. This is why I sometimes call it Spider-Man pose because it feels like you're Spider-Man hanging upside down. Well, that's the feeling anyhow, right? With a straight spine, start to move those ankles toward the tailbone. Almost as if you were gonna put yourself into a lotus position, right? Bringing that heel toward the hip. And again, just relaxing, letting it go, letting it flow. Fantastic, let's move to the next if we wish to. Grab the outsides of the feet. Again, lie back, happy baby. Again, only if you want to. That doesn't feel good, go back to stroke. And start to roll it out. Again, it's a happy baby for a reason. Because it's happy, and you're happy. So move around, be happy, play around. Sometimes we call happy baby playful baby, especially when we start to extend one leg at a time, right? Breaking free of the conventions of the form and starting to explore your body, your posturing within the posture. Good, feel, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, guys. From here, soles of the feet come back down to the floor. Tuck your chin. Reach for ankles. Reach for ankles. Side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Ten. Reach for the toes. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, beautiful work, and one. Grab those knees in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then when you kick the knee out, so if you notice, kick the knee out, tuck your chin, bring the soles of the feet to the floor, and then back down. Relax. Again, kick your knees out, let it lift you up, touch soles of the feet to the floor, back down. So again, we're stretching, but we're also strengthening, especially right there, beautiful. Start to work on your frame. Good, relax it out, dissipate that energy, ground it. And then again, kick through the hands, tuck the chin, coming forward, folding here, feeling here, and then back down, relax. And again, kick out, tuck chin. And now once you're here, start to just gently bring a pulse to the movement. Okay, so you'll notice arms are straight. And now I'm just doing a very gentle movement for 10, nine, because it's gonna bring us up because we're gonna kick. We're gonna kick soon. Five, four, three, two. And when you're ready, lean back, kick forward and right into our forward fold. Good, everyone, fantastic. Coming forward, stretch it out here into the forward fold. Remember, grab hold what you can. The first and most important part, right, is to grab hold and get those elbows going. And then start to work on getting those legs straight, right? Leg straight is of critical importance. And there's no use going further and having the knees bent, right? We wanna get the knees straight, lock in those legs, curl those toes, Find a place to grab and then start to work those more refined movements. 
right? Feeling that micro movement as medicine for your body. Looking left, looking right, stretching it out. Remember the core is to the body, what the mind is to the brain, right? It's sort of this Mobius thing or a plethora of things. But of course our working uh, definition, our operational, opera operationalization of the term is that the core is everything that supports the spine, right? So anything in the body that supports the spine is part of the core. And that's what we're focusing on. Good, breathing here, feeling here in that beautiful forward fold. And again, let's start to relax even further, relaxing down, down, down towards the ground, head is heavy, everything relaxes. Again, I'm just not dropping the head because I'm teaching. Let's do one strong bromery all together, affecting every organ, every muscle, every cell. Deep breath in. Mm. Sigh out, perfect. Good, coming back, guys. Fantastic, as we come back, all the way back today, we let the soles of the feet come to the floor. Stretch back, reach back. Oh. And then when you're ready, slowly, slowly, coming up and through, watch me kick my legs as I come up, nice and smooth. So as you come up, that's it, Susan Land, kick those legs, yes, girl, yes, girl. Right, just like in class. I know Brendan and Fran, you guys are doing it too. Yes, girls. Yes, guys. Right, feel that energy, feel that flow. Coming down, We letting those feet slide with you. Enjoy the gentle journey down. Stretch back, reach back. Feel that back flatten. And then when you're ready to come up, chin tucks first. Look where you wanna go, hands slide. And look, kick those legs, curl those toes. Come forward. You got this, right? Gentle warriors, right? There's no need to worry. Gentle warriors, right? Because we are yoga warriors, not yoga warriors, right? When it gets hard, right? The going gets tough. The tough get going, right? Feel, right? Go as slow as you want to go. Do as many as you like. Remember, it's all about the quality not the quantity. Stretch back, reach back. Right? Spend all the time you need grounding, tuck chin, and when you're ready, again, slow, kick those legs, and come up into that forward fold. Good, 30 more seconds, doing great. I'm just gonna increase the speed a little bit just for myself, ooh, cause it's starting to feel nice and good. And at this point too, I can also just leave the legs straight because now I can feel the whole body movement. I can feel the smoothness of the connection through the core, nose to toes. And of course, if I wasn't teaching, right, I'd be breathing, which I am doing, but the breathing right now is automatic. It's coming through the teachings. But for you guys, it's getting more and more natural. As you focus on that breath, you may notice that the inhale, holding that inhale really helps you. You may notice that exhaling through helps you. Again, there's so many ways of doing something repetitively, but different each time. <sighs> Fantastic guys, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do our last one all together and we'll meet in that forward fold. One. Oh yeah, perfect. Great job, guys. Coming into that fourfold, relax, let it go, let it be. 
Remember, everything you could ever want or be, you already have and are. So if you're looking for that stronger core, guess what? It's already there. We just have to awaken it. And that's the whole point. That six pack, eight pack, nine pack, right? Even just a two pack, it's all there. The four packs there, it's all there. It's just hiding. Right? It's just sleeping. So we want to wake it up, get strong for the summer. And when we do all that gardening, all that lifting umbrellas and chairs and heading to the beach, having a relaxing day, right? We want to be able to stretch as much as we strengthen. We want to be able to flow as much as we're also letting go, right? Spaciousness, stillness, silence. These are the three S's. These are the three foundations of our practice. And as we close our eyes, we go inside, we start to listen. We start to communicate breath by breath, all movements into this moment. Good, one Brahmari here. Let it echo through the entire body, through your entire being. Deep breath in. Mm. Fantastic, guys. And again, slowly coming up. Nicely done. Soles of the feet to the floor now. We'll start a little bit easier. Place your hands to either side. Actually, I'll do it from the side. Place your hands on either side of the knees. Heart back, heart forward. Right? If this is too hard, just grip. And we can always go from gripping, right, to not gripping. But just keep that contact with your hands. Right? Heart forward. Heart back, that's all we're doing. Heart forward, heart back. And if it gets too hard, remember, grab. You wanna make it even harder, bring those heels closer. Ugh. Ugh. Right, starting to work that area a little bit lower in the ravine, right down below the belly button. Heart forward, heart back. Right. So again, we make this movement as hard or as easy as we like. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, forward fold, relax. Fantastic, guys. When you find that forward fold, again, legs straight, then work the lumbar. Right, that's all in that lower back. And of course, then internally, let me go deeper with it. And breathing in what the earth is breathing out and remembering that the true meaning is being. Right? That's the secret to life. The secret to life is it's no secret. <laughs> we are a human being. The human gets us all confused. The being part sets us straight. But how often are humans being being in the moment, being with each other. Even when people are together, they're separate. So it's really important, this thing called mindfulness or awareness. It's not just a platitude, right? It's something that we really have to exercise. We really have to practice. And what are we practicing? Presence, right? Being, again, it all goes full circle. Fantastic, let's again, feel that being, feel ourselves by doing that nice strong Brahmari, being that very strong symbol, right? And allowing that echo to course through the body. Deep breath in. Mm. Keep the legs straight, hands behind you. Rock out side to side, side to side with arms straight. 
Oh, stretch, 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 stretch. Feel, 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 feel. Now, build yourself a nice frame here from behind, okay? Notice my heart, heart forward, heart back, okay? Notice the shoulders, right? So getting in tune with what you can feel, almost like a curl, and then start to lift one leg, and then start to bring that forehead and leg closer together. Go slowly, right? Go slowly, start nice and slow, work your way. But over time, yeah, you get the feeling, right? And start to bring that right knee towards the forehead for 10. Curl your toe, right, on the right side, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, switch it up. Left side this time, up and down, up and down. And again, forehead towards the knee. Right, it doesn't have to go very close together. You can be nice and wide apart, but intend it to go that way. Intend it to go that way. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, coming forward, touch your toes, stretch once again. Get that nice, beautiful feeling coursing through your body. And then one Brahmari to clear, deep breath in. Good, now folding forward just as you are. Put your hands in front now. This is the hard one. Don't worry if you can't do very many, okay? So now this is the hard one. Lift your right leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it down, ah, shake it up. Right, if that's too hard, right, just come up a little higher. But again, just like the back frame, now we're doing the front frame. Again, curl that left toe. Now we go left side, 10, nine, eight. This is all core, baby. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, fold, relax, woo, yeah. All right, feel that energy, feel that flow. And then let go of anything that doesn't serve you, right? Anything that's in your way. So learn to get out of your own way. Listen, learn. Whew. Ultimately, listening and learning for me is liberation, right? That's what it is to be liberated. You've listened and you've learned. Well, that's a pretty good working definition of the word liberation. Fantastic one, Brahmari here. Deep breath in. Good, coming up. Fantastic. This time, bend the right knee, clasp your hands, one on top of the other, just like so, lean back. So I'm actually going to turn around, that way I don't fall into the dresser. So I'm gonna lean back, and as I lean back, I'm holding that leg, foot is lifting off the ground. And then once I get into a hammock position where I'm supported, now I wanna lift that other leg. And I wanna lift that other leg. Whoa, that's it, just lift the other leg. Get it to a position where we can do 10, going up and down. 10, nine, eight, see, seven, not very hard, right? It's funny all the tricks. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's come up. Heart to knee, come forward, heart to knee, switch the legs. Heart away from the knee, lean back, right? When this foot comes off the ground, so does the other one, and then start to lift it. Uh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good. Coming back up. Switching knee. Back to right side. Class. Come down. Again, lift. All right, feel comfortable. And when you're ready, let go. And see if we can bring up and down or just stay there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, grab hold that knee. Woo, right? Give it a little thank you and change. Other side. Grab hold the other knee. Seat belt the grip. Come back. Good. Let yourself come so far back that this foot lifts up, this foot lifts up, great. Let go and lift the opposite leg, the right leg now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming forward right into your squat position. Just let it slide out and bring all that weight into the feet now. Dropping one ankle down at a time, let it flow. Let it go. All right, we're loading the joints, working the wrists, right? Working the shoulders, the ankles, the feet, the knees, right? the hips, the heart, all the way up into the head. Wow, oh, so good. All right, let's do a nice long one minute hold. Deep breath in, deeper breath out. And as you hold this posture, you might be wondering, why are we doing this? It doesn't seem very active, but it's really important to your core, right? Not just to strengthen, but also to stretch. And there's nothing better for stretching the core than, again, the traditional squat. It's fantastic, so good for the tailbone, so good for the hips, so good for the heart. Even the head, right? Head can just relax, right? Body feels good here as we load those joints, helping to free ourselves of ourselves, right? Whatever strong sensations we're picking up, right? Let them go. Breathe through the strong sensations. Remember, the signals are coming to your mind from your periphery, right? It's all you, right? You can experience you in different ways. That's what the yoga siddhis or powers are all about, right? New dimensions of seeing things, new dimensions of experiencing things. And one of those dimensions is pain and experiencing it as something different. So we challenge that notion. And again, hopefully can liberate the needless pain. A little bit of pain is always good to tell us something's hot, something doesn't feel right. It's a good, good indicator. We don't want to get rid of it. We just want less of it. It's like being fearless, right? We don't want no fear. That wouldn't be very good. Right? To have no fear, ah, that'd be scary. I don't know how long we'd live for. <laughs> right? So we want to be fearless. Same thing with this. We don't want to be without pain. We just want to be painless. So I go ahead and I'm saying all this because the pain, right? The strong sensation is increasing. So let's start to let it go. We're going to come forward and we're going to come into a downward facing dog. So nice and slowly, I'm gonna to come to the side just so you can see a little bit better, but you guys will just go straight on. Just listen to the voice, right? We're paddling it out in downward dog now, stretching through the arms, arms straight, stretching through the legs. Again, little peripatetic movements, dropping that ankle down and then locking both legs and just pushing hips back, pushing hips back, pushing hips back. Feel, feel. Feel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Coming down on the ground with the knees, uncurl the toes. A few rounds of cat cow. You're going to start to move your spine. Again, we're concerned with the core. Well, 
this is a great way to experience what the core is experiencing. Right? Just moving through cat cow, right? Feel each and every vertebrae. Because remember, the core is everything that supports the spine. So if there's any discomfort, right, now's your chance to really work it through. Good, fantastic. Placing your hands firmly on the ground, you can make fists as well if there's anything wrong with your wrists, or you can just keep doing cat cow if this doesn't feel good for your wrist. Fantastic, spread all 10 fingers nice and wide, press to the tops of the feet, lift your knees. Lift your knees, look through your legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful, coming down knees, curl the toes. Let's sit back on our toes. Toe squat, one of our favorites, and bounce. Play piano with your toes. Do, 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 do. All right, great to stretch it out. Feel, feel, feel. Good. Fantastic, with toes curled. Let's now come forward and then let's see if we can bring the heels to the ground. Bring the heels to the ground. Of course, you might not get there, that's okay. Right, we're working toward it. Bringing hips back. Bringing hips back. So I'll show you a little bit better from here. Right, hips back and then the heels get to the floor. That's hard, that will take time. But again, we're just stretching it through. Ah, so good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and let yourself come through by going backward. Ah, one last forward fold. Feel, feel, feel. And again, we're always checking in with our forward fold. Our forward fold's that posture that really brings a baseline to our practice. It allows us to kind of see things as they progress, but also to see things as they are. Because every time we're checking in with what is, rather than what could or should be. And so the beauty of this is that it grows and it gives, you know, information, right? The motion of emotion right? You're learning breath by breath. And who's your own? The only one that really matters. Because first for yourself, once you have that, then for another, then for all others. Because we can't really give it to another or to others unless we first have it for ourselves. And that's why I said the only one that truly matters. Not that it doesn't matter for other people, but if we're not kind to ourselves, how are we being kind to others? Right? It's not real kindness because again, it's just a interpretation of kindness to us. Why wouldn't we give it to ourselves? There's something there that needs to be solved. And that's what the practice is all about. That presence, that understanding of the present moment, right? By being your presence, by being your being, right? Liberating yourself of the human stuff, male, female, old, young, and being. Right, that's what we all share. Good, one Brahmri all together. Deep breath in. Mm. <sighs> Fantastic, guys. And let's slowly lower down. I'm gonna change my angle, but we're gonna come right into Shavasana now. Just lie down on your back. Wow. Put the soles of the feet on the floor if you like for your lower back, just to rock it out a few times. Right, you can always squeeze glutes, release glutes. Enter your Shavasana, right? Your five-pointed star whenever you're ready. But once you're there, take a deep breath in. 
and just sigh it out. <sighs> and just let yourself have adult nap time, right? Where you get to really enjoy what is, again, than what could or should be, or what you ought to do. This is it. You just get to be and breathe and be. Because breathing is automatic, but now it's become natural because you're exploring the breath. By exploring the breath, we bring awareness to the breath. And through awareness, it transforms from automatic, which is just happening all the time, sort of subconsciously or unconsciously, into the conscious. Not just by being conscientious, and that would be the practice, but also through consciousness, right? All the teachings. So just allow yourself to accept the internal energy, whatever it is, and see if you can ground it breath by breath into this moment. Just being here, working on the power of your presence in the present moment. We lie down here and relax a little bit deeper, right? Really go to that next level within yourself where there's no separation. And that's the ultimate liberation, liberating yourself from all separation. That's why they say in many of the Eastern traditions that the the droplet is not separate from the sea. And just like all water is recycled, so too are we, for we are part of that water, predominantly, mostly water. And so there's some natural sort of laws that water abides by, it changes state, right? It moves from vapor to liquid into solid. That's very much like us too, from an emotional level, all the way to a cognitive behavioral level. And then also as well, just like water, we follow the path of least resistance. And there's nothing more prominent for least resistance than this pose. I'm just lying down. Because if you can do this, and you can just be, then you can see why all this posture and all these myriad of movements are important because they all lead piece by piece to the feelings, to the experiences, to the integration that you're now having. And with less distraction, more attention will start to be sort of navigated or sort of sourced toward this center, toward yourself. Let's do one Brahmari here in our Shavasana just to feel alive to our living and awake to our waking. Deep breath in. Ah. 
Good. If you're staying for the next class, just stay in Shavasana, no need to leave because you'll do this finish at the end of the next class. For everyone else, just start to rock your head side to side, twinkle your fingers like stars, roll out the soles of the feet. And then when you're ready, coming on to left or right side, whichever you prefer, coming up, 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 and into a comfortable seated position. Once you get to that comfortable seated position, just start to bring your hands together, start to move your body around forward, back, right? Side to side, twisting and just getting those hands moving, waking up, so not a sensory in the body, right? Feeling temperature. Starting to get those brain areas active, right? Getting those sensations going. Right? We're trying to attach ourselves now, right? Attach ourselves to the feeling of stimulus and awakeness, right? Because that balance, that Shavasana can bring us very deep into ourselves. Bring it up over your head and back down over your heart and just let it open up. Let that energy flow, let it go. Breathing here, feeling here. Right? From all our different places, we're sharing one space. Right? One in oneness. Home is where the heart is. And the heart, one day, one moment away, will always be home. And that's what liberation and realization is all about, especially for the heart space. That safety, that security, that sweetness, that purpose, everything abides in love, with love, and through love. So really setting that intention of love, self-love, self-care, because you've done it, right? Now it's just all reward, right? Almost little effort now is needed to get a lot. And so we're gonna chant the mantra Om as we do, slowly bring the palms together and really feel that you're imbuing your body, imbuing your body with all this good energy, with all this lovingness. Deep breath in. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace in our hearts, in our lives, in everything that we see, are, and be. The divine in me sees and shares the divine in you, in love, with love, through love. Thank you everyone for coming out today. Namaste. Yay! Mm, mm, mm. So good. Great class, everyone. Thanks, Fran.